Well, hello, ladies and gents. I am the Rev. Welcome on back to more Everspace 2, uh, our full walkthrough. And we are the emissary. We are going to go to the ancient citadel. And that's currently where we're at. And I think we're in for a big fight in this one. Should be fun. Let me know what you guys think. As always, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Need all the help I can get. Let's get some. That Corvette looks fairly official. Must be the emissaries. Indeed, it bears the holy insignia. And those force field emitters don't look very peaceful to me. That must be the work of the aforementioned Orkar Prime. The Commissioner's suspicions have been proven correct. Hailing clerical, Corvette. This is a colonial delegation on a diplomatic mission. Your authority, your treaties, your lies, and your filthy presence have no place here. We only wish to speak with Emissary Sarath. We come on behalf of Commissioner Hawk bearing a request. There will be no negotiating. Turn back and keep to your own affairs. You have been warned. We won't leave until we've delivered our message. If your request was death, then we shall be sure to make you satisfied. Tareen, can you okay, so... Way through this force field? How you get through the force shield? Well, is... We'll blow these things up and not get killed in the process. If you wish to reactivate the comm system, collect all Ooh. the associated parts. I will highlight them for you once the force field is down. Okay, yeah. We could use all the help we can get, even if it's Okar authorities. Okay, we just gotta wait for our shield to come back up. We'll be good. God, if I don't keep flying into things. Oh, I hate that weapon. So that was the other thing, you gotta blow them up. Ridiculous. Whoop. Yeah, you want to make sure you grab whatever you want here first. Yeah, we better make sure we grab our stuff. Because it'll start a cutscene and then I think stuff might disappear. So, but it's all good. I think I got enough. Gotta be quick about it so those other guys don't come back. I think he's leading them for on a merry chase. The Corvette's comm system is functional again. It now needs to be powered up. I will use your booster's energy to power up the system. You must remain close in order for this to work. 
Okay, he's taking him on a nice ride over there. He's still fine. Yeah, we're good. Oh, no, we're not. At one point, eh, just barely out of my range. Oh, no, my boys will go in. I have accessed the system and dispatched an emergency broadcast. This is like the old days of analog. You take a weakling's approach by summoning the authorities to your aid. They're disengaging. This is our chance to get on board. Hailing clerical, Corvette. Do you read me? We are on a diplomatic mission and request access to the emissary. It appears that we must force sentry. It may be that the hardliners still have control of the Corvette. brought a stick to a gunfight? These are dangerous extremists we're taking on here, Tarine. This part must be done the way of the old warrior code. Do not harm the ones in ropes and stay behind me. Careful. Best keep your blaster holstered. Side of you I never knew, Tarin. Okar never forgets his training. You are the traitor we've heard of. The one who left the brood to become a menial merchant to the humans. I have become something you cannot understand. And now I will not allow you to stand in the way of peace with the humans. The talk of a coward. You want to settle this the traditional way, after you abandon your chosen path. <laughs> My own master, you are but a slave to the warrior code. I see before me such things as I could not have foreseen. Your Eminence, I am Tareen, and this is my companion, Adam Rosman. Tareen, of course. I am familiar with your story. So, you have decided to return to us? Not exactly. We have come bearing a message from Commissioner Hawk of the Colonial Fleet. Eshahar is under threat from the humans. The Comet is under threat from rogue agents who do not represent us. The Commissioner sent us to plead for more time before an Okar intervention. She sends assurances that this problem can be solved internally among us Colonials. Hmm. You are known to us too, Adam Roslin. Indeed, we have encountered you a number of times in quite a variety of contexts. Tell me, why do you care about the Okar, of whom you have killed so many? I understand there are peaceful elements to your society. I have just never met them before. And of Eshahar, what do you know? I have learned from Tareen that it is sacred to you. Sacred, indeed. The spirits of our ancestors are embedded in its ancient stones. Twice in each generation they pass to share their visions of the past, present, and future. But perhaps you know this. Perhaps you have been touched by Eshahar. Tareen, I commend you and your friend for your noble interference. It was timely. Relay to the Commissioner that the Grand Master shall be informed. And we shall stay our hand, at least for the time being. And Tareen, should you ever wish to return to us, 
A clerical vocation is still open to you. Thank you, your eminence. We will resolve this. You have my word. Your timely intervention may have altered the disastrous course of our shared history. And, thanks to the signal you sent, other authorities will be here shortly. I have informed them of your great assistance. It was an honor to be of service. And an honor to meet you. I'll need to update Hawk on the situation. Commissioner Hawk, do you read me? I hope it's good news, Mr. Roslin. Your suspicions were correct about hardliners being the reason for the Emissary's radio silence. He was being held hostage. We were able to free him, and he has not been harmed. This suggests tensions between the Elkar castes are intensifying, and could sour already strained relations. For the time being, we've been given assurance that the order will be issued not to attack GNB, as long as GNB do not attempt to touch the comet. The Grandmaster's proclamation on this should guarantee that none will cross that line. I hope so. Although we should not presume to test the Okar's toleration further. GNBs still need to be brought to heel to prevent conflict. Oh. And my ship is chewed! Okar units incoming. Those are the regular Okar units we summoned, the authorities. Escorted back to the old car expense. God speed and may your mission be crowned with success for the sake of Eshahar. For Eshahar! We'd better inform the others what's been going on. Delia, do you read me? Adam, I was just about to contact you. Maddox left the base just a short time ago. There was nothing we could do to stop him. He took Eduardo, too. Damn it, Maddox. He's gonna ruin everything. Just hang tight. We'll come back to base and we'll sort this out. <laughs> now there is... Yeah, an ancient secret you can... Unlock here. You got to screw with this thing. Okay. Wow. We got to go all the way back to our base. Yep. Dock at home base. All right. Hold on. Jeez. This is why they give you the option to jump instead of having to take the long way. Here we go. So this is their in-game content, and it's annoying. Where are we? What's going on? Clearly, you have meddled too much with the natural laws of physics, and the universe is taking its revenge. Your experimentations with these abominable spatial bypasses have led you to your doom. Time to be helpful, Hive. I see we've got company. Multiple craft approaching, seemingly hostile, but I detect no signs of organic life. Okay, so that's not good. Drones? Large ancient energy pulses are emanating from each ship. They are piloted, but by what I cannot determine. Wait, you don't think these are the crafts which were pulled into the rifts before? Given the diverse origins and ages of each vessel, I would not discount that theory. If the ancient energy has consumed them, maybe they're like late-stage redeemers. Maybe they're already dead. Hold tight, Hive. We could be battling the undead here. I will add that to the outrageous list of enemies you have accumulated.
All right, so to make it easy, you don't have to do anything. You can just let them kill you. You don't, you lose any of your rockets, um, your, your force. Everything gets given back to you if you beat it or if you die. And it's got different layers with all kinds of stuff coming at you and... You know, I'm not a fan of this. It's kind of useless. There, uh, in my opinion, they need to work on it a little more. Make sure they get the. Um... The balance better. Oh, here we go. This is a quick way to die. No, we're not. Here we go. You don't get to keep anything if you die either, so. Very well. Nice to hear something supportive from you, I for a change. some more pressing matters at hand. Okay, so when did Maddox and Eduardo leave exactly? Only a few hours ago. I'm sorry, Adam. I did try to stop them. But Maddox was so enraged. He was completely out of control. It's not your fault, Delia. The man was watching his big plan unravel and probably couldn't stand it another moment. Kala. Can you tell me the comet's current position? It is flying through the Drake system. Hmm. A coalition-controlled area. My guess is that Maddox will try to blast mine the comet at the earliest opportunity. I'll need to head him off before he does any damage. Nothing must happen to Eduardo. Of course not, Kala. I'll be in touch. Keep comms open. All right, go to the Drake Passage, and we will do that in the next episode. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm not sure how long this episode will be with all the uh, edits. But, let's see, where are we going? Going back to Union, huh? Paving the way, which then will probably take... Oh, take us over here in the Drake system again, huh? Ooh. Which makes me wonder... Level 21, and we're barely 19. God, I just... You know, they're, they're pushing the... Uh, you got to get these side missions done. It's all good. We'll see what I can do. As always, keep your heads down. Your ships of doom up and all. See you again. Real damn soon.